I'm so stressed. How many times have you heard someone say that or even said it yourself? I'm Jeanette Kwachi and in this pod, I want to share with you how I manage stress. First of all, what exactly is stress? Well, stress means lots of different things to different people. But really, it's just our body's response to either an external pressure or the way we feel about a situation. Stress can also mean our bodily response to a situation. When we perceive that we're under pressure, our body experiences a fight or flight response. This is our stress response. It's useful if the pressure is something we need to fight or run away from, but not so useful if the pressure is something like an exam or competition. Unless you're a boxer, fighting during a competition is generally frowned upon and you might feel like running away from the exam hall, but it won't help get rid of the exam. Our body responds to stress with a whole load of biological changes. Our sympathetic nervous system, which controls all the autonomic responses in our body, triggers the release of adrenaline, noradrenaline and cortisol. These are all hormones, often called stress hormones. They're designed to get us ready to act and they trigger a variety of physical responses. First, our heart rate and breathing rate increase so we can pump more oxygen to our muscles. Our muscles then become tighter and more active and our pupils dilate to help us see better. Adrenaline causes the release of fat and glucose into the bloodstream to fuel our muscles and brain and our immune system activity is reduced so the body can focus on the fight it's about to take on. Now, all of these reactions are great if we need to be productive for a short period. In the short term, a stress response helps us to improve both physical and cognitive performance, but prolonged exposure to these stress hormones begins to negatively impact our well-being. For example, too much exposure to cortisol reduces the function of our hippocampus, the area of the brain responsible for memory and learning. Exposure to adrenaline negatively impacts on our cardiovascular function and a frequent stress response impairs our immune system, which means we're more likely to get ill. Stress, or rather our response to it, isn't about what's happening, but instead our belief about whether or not we can handle the situation. We can change our stress response by altering our perception or focus or by taking control of our bodily response. One of the best ways to use stress positively is to get in control of our response to the pressure we're feeling. The simplest way of doing this is to manage our breathing. Slow, deep breaths help to slow our heart rate as well as the release of stress hormones. Let's try this breathing exercise together. It's the one I use as I'm getting ready for a competition and it might help you when you notice your body responding to a stressful situation. Close your eyes or lower your gaze to the ground. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Begin to notice where you feel tense. Maybe your shoulders are tight or your teeth are clenched. Breathe in deeply and gently pull your shoulders down, away from your ears, as far as they'll go. Breathe out slowly and let your shoulders relax. Repeat this three or four times, breathing in deeply and then slowly breathing out, letting go of any tension. Notice if you still have any tension in your shoulders and with every slow breath out, let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Hopefully, this exercise will help you take control of your response to stress in the future. When we're able to do this, it means that we can start to use stress positively to help us do our best in any situation. Thank <laughs> you.